Hey everybody, this is Perch. So I guess we got to talk about manga, right? That's uh, that's what we're going to do. Look, um, I'm staring right now as I record this at a bunch of little Lego figures, and they're uh, customized to be the One Piece crew. And there's even Jinbei here. I've also got some little uh, Tsum Tsum looking things. They're little stuffed uh, little creatures that Disney did, except these are, I've got Luffy and I've got Fifth Gear Luffy. I've also got a, a hardbound copy of Berserk. And I've got an original piece of art from Ruko Takahashi, which is one of my favorite things in the world. It even beats out the art I have from Art Adams. And uh, let me tell you, that was expensive and hard to get my hands on. um, Because that's just not sold. (laughs) Anyway, um, so I posted something up about an observation that is is not really a surprise to me. It's something that I've been seeing kind of coming for a little while. There's been little stats coming in. And it's basically that manga sales are falling. And unfortunately, like with everything, there's nuance to every piece of the conversation. And this is what people who are critics of mine always hate, because it's not just what you say, it's the reason behind what you say. So manga sales are falling, but there's also not big hit series in the stores right now. We had My Hero Academia, we had uh, Demon Slayer, we had uh, Chainsaw Man, we had One Punch Man. But two things happened. I mean, first of all, several of those series ended or are ending. And the second thing is there was such a blitz. And I mean, I can't understate this enough. In every media, whether it's movies, books, music, anything, whenever you overexpose something, there is a natural reaction of sales falling. We've seen it with movie genres. We've seen it with types of books. We've seen it with everything. You can only kind of go back to that well so many times where people start looking for something new. And when I say people, I mean kind of rando people, or sometimes as we call them, the normies. It doesn't change the fact that the fans of these this type of content continue to be fans. Nothing changes there. Their sales are strong. And in fact, if you look at the original sales before all the pop culture settled into it, sales are up. And the same thing is true with manga. Manga is definitely selling stronger than it was back in, say, 2010. But we've seen a bunch of very strong series end. We've seen a lot of overexposure of those series. I mean, put it this way. When you start selling Tonkabon versions of manga at Walmart, it's only a matter of time before it starts to feel overexposed. We, when Netflix does a One Piece show, and I like that show for that matter, you know, I thought it was reasonably well done, um, you know, it, 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 it starts to overexpose this property. So what we're sitting at right now is that manga is down at Amazon, and it's down a lot. It's down about 70%. And that makes an exciting headline, but it's also slightly misleading. There hasn't been a new hit version of something coming out. And for a while, if you go back to 2020, at Amazon, you had, uh, I mean, every month, you had one of those series I mentioned earlier releasing a new volume. And you had a bunch of people discovering it for the first time. So you were getting all the auxiliary purchases. You were getting making of, and you were getting art, and you are getting people going all the way back and buying box sets. And you are getting... Uh, you know, people buying volume one, two, and three to catch up to volume 40 in some cases. So, you know, it, it, it's it's normal that the sales have fallen. That doesn't mean that manga is suddenly not popular. It doesn't mean that people are going back to Marvel. I mean, it, it doesn't need to be said because I think the two things should be discussed separately. But Western comics or U.S. comic sales are still low. You know, it's not like there's a sum of money and if manga drops, U.S. comics go up. U.S. comics continue to drop. The X-Men From the Ashes relaunch is doing terrible from all accounts. DC's Absolute Power Event is not doing great. There's a lot riding on this new all-in DC and some of the things that uh, the Marvel's trying to do. But right now, you know, Brevoort's sitting on somewhat of a failure with the X-Men. But by the way, if you're enjoying it, good for you. The the sales numbers shouldn't take away from your enjoyment. I've been saying that since pretty much day one of this channel, and it always amazes me that that lesson still doesn't sink in. It also saddens me a little bit that the whole idea of manga success or, you know, when it hits a dry spell, is somehow wrapped up in the culture war. 
That pisses me off a little bit because I was into manga back in the 80s, long before, you know, most of you listening, if not all of you. Rumiko Tayashi and what she did with, with Lum, what she did with Ranma, you know, well, I mean, Tinchi Moyo, for, for that matter, was kind of a shitty series, but I mean, it was, it, it's, it's dear to my heart. I love that stuff. And so I'm always going to love manga. I continue to love manga. When, when people, um, some, there's video, and, and here's the thing. I've got now five plus years worth of videos proving this. If you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know how much I love manga. Somebody asked me about my favorite moment in comics or manga of all time. And this coming from a guy who ran a shop for 20 plus years. My answer was the whole Marine Ford epic of One Piece. I just thought that was a fucking masterpiece. So none of this is me saying, ah, manga's dropping. Now, will some people use my words to try and twist it into meaning that? Sure. I mean, why not? People are dumb and they've always been dumb. But the thing that frustrates me, and I posted on it, is that if I go back in time five years ago, I walked into a Barnes & Noble and I noticed that the manga section was expanding. And I took photos of this. I, I took photos of several stores and I posted them on Twitter. And I remember one guy uh, by the name of Eric July went after me over that, talking about uh, what was I trying to do promoting these comics. Um, I, I To this day, I don't know if he didn't understand what I was posting or what, but he, he shit all over me for that. A lot of people did. The idea that, well, that's not my store. My store still has tons of Marvel and tons of DC. And I had people really, really argue. I was called everything from a racist. Now, by the way, I, I love the mental gymnastics of saying, hey, this uh, pop culture printed work from, uh, from Asia uh, seems to be doing well. You're a racist. I, I don't get how those two come together, and I never have. But anyway, there's a certain deja vu to today in 2024 when I say, hey, the sales are dropping. I went to a Barnes & Noble. The this, store this is scaling back. I went to three. Now, you might say, well, Texas is not a big manga place, except it has been, and it still is. It's just that there's not the big new series to sell. I, I, you know, if the, the problem is you reach a certain audience and you get somebody to buy all the copies of Demon Slayer, eventually, you know, the audience that's going to buy all the copies have bought all the copies. And keep in mind, for the last three years or so, Target and Walmart, but especially Target, has been shoving a lot of the most popular manga out there. It's been in the video game section. It's been there. Now, by the way, Target has largely pulled back. They're not selling the same Tonkamons they were even a year ago. Some stores are. I'm sure you will still see some based on the region. And by the way, some people brought up, well, this may be just you. Barnes & Noble can make their own decisions. Yeah, but they do so based on the buying power of the entire organization. Look up an annual report. So, is manga failing? No. Are the sales down? Yeah. Are the hit series largely over or coming to an end? Yeah. What happens when a hit series ends? Sales go down until another hit series comes in. And by the way, for what it's worth, I'm 100% positive that new manga will come, that new series will emerge, and people get excited about this. Everything is cyclical. But just don't let anybody fall into the same traps. And the same traps are, Manga selling less because there isn't a hit series on the shelf automatically means that everything... You know, I, I had people, for fuck's sake, on this channel calling me a left-wing socialist for saying factually that the numbers are down. Again, this isn't subjective. It's objective. The numbers are down. You can look up the sales. You use the Amazon calculator. It's there. Numbers are down. And please, don't make a fool out of yourself by saying, well, you know, there's, they're getting their manga from other sources besides Amazon and Barnes & Noble. Oh yeah, like what? Target has moved to largely online only. Where, where are all these other sources? And you can argue piracy. Sure, I'm sure plenty of people are pirating manga. But here's the thing, that's not new. Manga was being pirated in mass long before U.S. comics were. 
piracy is is not something that just appeared this year and suddenly started impacting the sales. The thing that's impacting the sales are there's not big new hit series out there. It's just that simple. So, you know, you could take this for whatever you want. It's an observation. But don't be a bitch. I, I, I'm disappointed in several of you who have lost your fucking minds over this just the way Alana Smith, just the way several of the U.S. comic creators did when I made the observation five years ago that Barnes & Noble was expanding, which they were. Now, they're pulling back a little bit, which they are. Amazon sales are down, which they are. It just is what it is, folks. But, kind of like I mentioned earlier, if you love this stuff, keep loving it. No sales table, no data means anything. And by the way, you can't for five solid years call ICV2 or The Beat a shill bullshit site and then pull those numbers out to try and prove a point to me in 2024. It, just stick with the plot, folks. Anyway, are some new awesome manga series coming? You bet your ass they are. Do I hope that some good U.S. Western comics are also coming? Well, frankly, there are some now. You know, I'm not a Conan fan, but Jim Zub's Conan over at Titan is kicking ass. I love it. We're going to continue to get good comics that you love that may or may not be what the masses or what popular uh, opinion says. And we just got to be good with that. Right? Thanks for listening. 